So I'll let you guys see what Claudia said, who's an expert. And she actually talked to Canelo yesterday and, and Callum Smith on ESPN Deportes. And our focus is to make sure that people get the, the creme de la creme. So Haley, would you like to listen to the little quick segment from last week? It's like four minutes. Absolutely. The yeah, take, she said a great take. So I felt like it was worthy of us taking a look at it. And I hope you, hopefully you guys are, uh, will enjoy this and use it. And then I'll come back and give you my prediction on why I'm picking, who I'm picking. And this is going to be cool. So let's start the take. My man. Canelo. 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 Canelo versus Smith. Yes. Who saw Canelo fighting at this weight? You know, 160 at best, people were biting their nails there, not knowing if he could get in there and do the thing. But he goes up, not only does that, but catapults himself to 175 and knocks off a former killer in the division in Kovalev. Now he's here against Liam Smith. And I mean, Callum. Callum, sorry. He already and, did, he already took care of you. Yeah, he already, yeah, man, that was bad. That was bad. That was but, horrible. Now you see Canelo, all the stuff going on with the contract and, you know, his own De Delaware, all that stuff. You never seen Canelo wrinkle. He's definitely, he was able to really understand what made Floyd so great. The other stuff, not just the ring stuff, but the composure. And Canelo just is uber composed. What do you see in this fight with um, Smith coming yeah. up? I'm going to backtrack a little bit just okay. because I don't want to uh, disrespect somebody like Liam Smith. I, Liam did a phenomenal job at 140 and 147. There was no way. I mean, he was overpowered, yeah. oversized, yeah. And, and period. Um, let's go back to the drawing board of, uh, Cam of uh, Canelo's career. I think he had great teachers in Lara, in Islandi Lara, uh, Sugar Shane Mosley and yeah. Floyd Mayweather. I think what catapulted him in terms of boxing IQ was definitely that fight against Floyd. And people mock him because perhaps he was not as accurate. How could, who, how could you? You're yeah. trying to hit a moving target. And if there's anybody that understands yeah. how, how keen and precise Floyd can be in terms of footwork and handwork and the rolling shoulder, he's the master of it. So the fact that Canelo actually took that risk and put his you know, undefeated up there. Mm -hmm. You know, I give him all the credit for that. Yeah. With I that mean, being the... said, and taking two fights against Gennady Golovkin, and I'm going to say this with all due respect to Gennady, uh, he was the hardest hitting 160 we have seen in the last day. So the fact that he took that fight yeah. was also, for me, adding to his credibility. Then he goes up to the crusher. Um, Sergey Kovalev, people could say, oh, he was washed up, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Hello, the one thing nobody loses, no fighter loses, is punching power. And She's that's great. great. She's amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. Was that nice? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you remind me once again. Uh -huh. I was tipping. I was tipping, and I never, ever pull against Canelo, ever going to pull against him. But I don't favor anyone over him. Because I understand mm -hmm. what he's made of, just like I did with Rafael Garcia. I understand what they're made of. I understand the light, the the layers, and the fiber in which these guys bring. And I started to tilt, and I was like, "I'm." And I thought about it. I said, "The reality is this." When I saw those guys and replayed that last night, I realized is nobody on this planet that can crack that cold because Canelo doesn't stop getting better. So yeah. they have to, like Callum Smith has to come and create the blueprint on how to beat him, how not to get his, his hips ripped out of the socket in the same breath. The height don't mean nothing when a guy knows how to bring you to him and shrink you down. You see, mm -hmm. boxing is one on one. Whatever is in front of you, you know how to combat it. So it doesn't matter how big you are. That's why he's destroying bigger guys. It doesn't matter how strong you are. So that's what boxing is. That's the definition of boxing. But go ahead. The floor is yours. Yeah, you know, I always find it interesting. I like to look 
back when we're pairing up, pairing up about. Yeah. I like to look back at their amateur career. And Claudia made a good point that Canelo's is almost non-existent. Yeah. Where Colum Smith has, you know, quite a few. I mean, the Brits, the Brits do. They they really yeah. take their time before they go pro, yeah, they crafting get. their foundation. So you know, you know my theory, which has proven me wrong. I'm like, whoever's wearing the Grant gloves is gonna win. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all tell her, tell them about your theory, please, because I want this yeah. on the record. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, it has it has been debunked, but for a long time when i had this theory i was realizing these grant gloves you know what it was it was creed it was the movie creed oh where God. elvis grant was on there and um rocky balboa is like oh, the, he makes the best gloves in the business yeah. so i've been paying attention to grant gloves and a lot of winners wear grant but not all of them so yeah i can't use it as an indicator anymore but i got canelo all right. <laughs> we'll see if he's wearing Grant. He probably won't. He'll probably be an everlast. I know my guys. I know my guys out in um, your, your dad. Thank us. You're welcome, brother. It's my pleasure. And I look forward to sharing our little stuff with you guys. And let's rock on. Rock on. <laughs> All right. But no, I can't really elaborate on them. I have to get some footage on them just like we did with jo uh, George Cambosis. So sure. make sure I get some footage on them and I can mm -hmm. bring it down to his very last compound. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If his skin is vanilla or brown, I can break them down on the fight show. Mm -hmm. That's how we get it. <laughs> 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 and, Neil, and I know Neil, Neil just put on the record that he know that his boy Callum is going to try to bring the smoke. So it's going to be exciting. It is. And it could happen because Smith comes from a line of, uh, he's the youngest of four brothers. You yeah. know, you, you mentioned Liam in the clip. Yeah. And just knowing from experience, a lot of, you know, the Zales were all older brothers that helped Tony Zale become middleweight champion yeah. of the world. And that's so, what matters. Yeah. That, yeah. That, and that's when they start at a young age when you get those brothers yeah. together. Stacking. Those big families. Yeah. The main mm -hmm. ones. Look at yep. stack, you know? Yep. It's They're like learning it. from their older brothers. That's, that's yeah. a big thing in his history. Yeah, and see, I'm from a coach advantage, a coaching lineage. That's why I got three generations on everybody. So when yeah, it down stack to all, it up. People wonder, <laughs> hey, where you get all that knowledge, man? This is what we do. This is what right. we do. Look at there. Look at the tail of the tape. Um, they're close in age. They're, you know, they're the same age, but man, mm -hmm. the fights. Canelo is fought like someone who's 50 years old. I mean, 56. Yeah. I mean, that many fights. Then you got them, um, the wins and the loss. Mm -hmm. the only guy mm -hmm. able, you know, that level in this generation, Pac and Floyd and these kind of the guys he lost to, the guy he lost to. Ooh. And then you look at the knockouts, man. He's punching guys. He's a professional mm -hmm. prize fighter. You know, he's in the likes of the who's your, um, Julio Cesar Chavez seniors. I mean, Roberto Duran's. Uh, oh yeah, Carlos Monzon, Jersey Joes. I mean, he's in the likes of those kind of guys, and th that reach, eight yeah. inches. And when they fight, you'll see the beauty of why boxing is such a beautiful sport. And Callum is is rangy, and he fight like a smaller guy who mean. That's what I like about Callum. He really mm -hmm. brings that fire mentality. He really fights really really he has a such a blue collar style to be his height most guys would be sort of like chris algeri i don't know if you probably know chris because you live in new york mm -hmm. but chris yeah, i've seen him fight yeah chris algeri you know is more of a slick smooth kind of guy he's tall and for his weight class reminds me of uh callum smith frame but you know callum's a savage in that ring man he don't don't get mm -hmm. it twisted so i would just want to drop we don't put our stuff on the record Y'all put your stuff in the bracket. Let's see who <laughs> you guys are going down. I, I love going to the comment boxes and, and seeing what everybody's dropped. So we will definitely love this the to chop it up. Post fight, we're gonna get it popping it, because it's a big deal. I love I mean, I'm a Canelo fan. And yeah, me too. I've got many videos on them. 
uh, the breakdown of his style, his system and what he does. So I actually probably put that up for Friday morning. So tune in tomorrow at 9 a.m. and you'll see my breakdown of Canelo Alvarez, as I call him, a.k.a. the Mexican machine gun. Until, <laughs> that's all we got for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the fight show. Another edition of How We Get It Popping with Haley Zell. Thanks again, Haley, for showing up. Yeah, thanks for having me, Eric. Always love wrapping it out with you. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, this is going to be great, guys. Let's see who you guys are thinking and will win this fight over the weekend. This segment will be excoriated and extracted, and I'll just have this going on the page. So we'll be on the record. I got Canelo. Stop. I got Canelo. Look at his gloves. He's wearing Grant gloves right he there. Got, uh, he got Grant gloves. It depends on what <laughs> is going on right now because Canelo is kind of, his old stuff is kind of going like this. And uh -huh. if, you know, Callum pulls it off, he's such a worthy opponent to do it. And uh, yes. I think he'd, he'd be a great champion amongst men. So that's what we want for the sport of boxing. So that's all we got. Until next time, you guys be blessed at Godspeed. Watch the fight. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask. Special shouts out to World Class Fight League over here. The guys over at uh, Top American Top Team Tampa. Special shouts out to you guys. And once again, we out. See you next week. Well, on the fight show. Peace. <laughs> it does.